I would buy the meeting room. I would get the place. I'd, I'd pay for the meeting room and the place. Let's get together and talk about it. You can't get nobody to do that. I don't know how much more of an example like Paul, Jesus, Moses, uh, anybody that you can be. If you're willing to have an open discussion with anybody on any of these subjects, then why behind? Why hide behind? I call it women's skirts or computer screens. Amen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I had somebody want me to address this thing about Eddie Long. I don't care about Eddie Long. I don't care about the Missionary Baptist Church down. I don't even care about Christians because Christians are not who this Bible is written to. Amen. Amen. I don't care how you shape it. You've got to get out of your training. It only talks about Israel. And Israel is the Israel that it is talking about is not a landmass, it's a people. Amen. Amen. That's what that thing's talking about. And so we've had a lot of Roman and Greek influence on our conscience. And it's warped our thinking, distorted our perceptions, and we, we can't even hardly perceive right nowadays. Amen. Isaiah 8, verse 20. Come on with it, brother. To the law and to the testimony. To the what? Law and to the testimony. Now, a lot of people have been trained so much, they will say, why are you over there reading in the old covenant? Then you... Hold that. Mm -hmm. We should have got Brother Shane up here too. But hold right. that because we're going to be going. Now let's go to 2 Timothy 3.16. All right. We're going to stop for a second to the law and to the testimony, okay? Just for a, a little understanding. Hallelujah. You there? 2 yeah. Timothy 3.16, read. All scriptures. Uh, hold on. Now wait a minute. Isaiah said to the law and to the testimony. Mm -hmm. And now we are in what they call the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And the New Testament says all scripture. scripture. Now, when this was being written, that was not scripture. No. The scripture that they're referring to is the scripture from Genesis to Malachi and including the books that they've taken out of it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Including the books that they've taken out that they didn't want you to know about. Amen. But Timothy, Paul is writing to Timothy and he's saying to his letter to Timothy, Paul, who's supposed to be the what? They call him the New Testament Messiah. Paul has not said anything different than Christ or the prophets. Amen. He knew the law. Mm -hmm. Just getting you out of your, your pagan ways, that, and that's trouble. Yes, sir. But see, we, see again, we're, we're, we, we are here having these books open because we have the, I need to come up with another word, but it seemed the best word I can use. We're here to educate you. In the word of God. Amen. That word is more important than any man's word that is existing on this earth. That word is more important than any spirit. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by out of out of the mouth of every out of the word. I get that. What is wrong with me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you gonna lay hands on me, brother? Ooh, Lord, mercy. <laughs> Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed forth out of the mouth of who? God. Now he did say in Psalms 89, don't go that he's not going to alter or change anything that has gone out of his lips. Amen. Now we have his religion that come along today has done altered and changed everything. Amen. We're going to stick with our heritage though, all right? With our history book. Amen. So Paul writing to Timothy said, all scripture is what? Is given by inspiration of God. It is inspired by the Most High himself. You hear that? All scripture. Right. Let me say this again for all you people that are, uh, I'm going to try to leave out the derogatory statements, brother, that are slow in understanding and slow at heart. How would I do? Is that less offensive? Mm -hmm. That's less, okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. That should brush over pretty good, then, shouldn't it? All right. Amen. Genesis to Malachi and including the books that they left out. Amen. So all scriptures given by inspiration of God, what does these scriptures do? And it is profitable for doctrine. Oh, they're profitable for teaching. Mm -hmm. That's what doctrine is, right? Right. Doctrine is teaching. See, mm -hmm. what these people want to do is have a doctrine other than what the scriptures say. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's Christianity. Uh -huh. Amen. Hmm? 
Come on. Read on. Tell them the truth. For reproof. For correction. Reproof is correction, right? Yeah. Reproof is admonishment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Admonishment. Meaning if you're off on the wrong course, here, let us kind of put you back on course here a little bit. Yeah. Right? Read on. For correction. There go the correction right there. That means you change the path that you are on. Amen. Can, can't you have a zeal? Oh, yeah. But it not be according to knowledge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are writing your zeal until knowledge came. And if I'm wrong in what I'm believing and teaching, then I'm going to have to have somebody to actually come down and sit, or at least be willing to sit down and talk with me in dialogue, Amen. rather than sending videos over YouTube and taking pop shots over the bow. <laughs> I'm easy to hit. I'm about 5'11", I weigh about 240 pounds. I'm easy to hit. Is that about right, brother? I'd say so. Okay. Read on. For correction, for instruction. For in instruction. The scriptures are there to instruct. Yes. In what? Righteousness. Right. You can't get that instruction in righteousness from anywhere else but the scriptures. Amen. 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 That's why you women still looking like men because you don't have any instruction. That's why you men are turning into sissies because you don't have any instruction. That's why you put abominations in your bodies because you don't have any instructions. That's why you attend church on the sun God day. And let me say this word again. The Sabbath is a day of rest. Everybody, one, two, three, rest. 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 One more time, the Sabbath is a day of rest, rest. not worship. Amen. But you can worship the Father every day. Now, how hard is that? Amen. How hard is that? Amen. How hard is that, brother and sister? Amen. I mean, it seems too complex, believe it or not. I mean, hey. I'm, 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 I, hey, it ain't, it ain't, I told you, brother, I'll I, I try my best to remove that from my vocabulary, brother Ed, say, you know, you say common, I said, no, it ain't common sense, because if it was common sense, why is it so uncommon today? Amen. See what I mean? I know. So sense ain't common, more. That's true. <laughs> Am I making sense? Yes, sir. I mean, I mean to be intrusive and stuff. I don't mean to back off all the all the oof that's coming out of here. I'm trying to use a, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to use a lower grain round here for just for a second. Hmm? You know, something like maybe 80 grain. I, I'd rather hit you with a 220. Anyway, read on. That the man of God may be perfect. Thoroughly furnished. So first all of all, to, that the man of God may be perfect. Why? Because he is the one that is charged with instructing, teaching the people. 